And welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders 2. Alright, so we need to continue construction our enormous throne room. So let's do that, shall we? So we're going to need this thing to be at least 100 tiles wide. So we have quite a bit of work ahead of us. So the first thing I want to do is... I'm going to try to even out the terrain around here so we can actually build on it. Oh, the only problem is because we're stacking castle walls like this, it's going to make those... Hmm... It's going to be a little bit ugly looking. I don't know, maybe we'll like replace the floor with something later, but... Uh, yeah, I'll figure it out later. Also, you know what else I'm going to do? One minute. I am going to need some stairs. So I can basically make the door pass through here so we can still leave through the back. You just kind of have to pass through the throne room to do it. In fact, now that I think about it, to get to the throne room, you kind of need to, like, pass through the bedroom area. Which, you know what? That's fine, because it's, like, extra security, okay? You can't just go directly for the throne room. you got to go through security first. Which just happens to be the bedroom. Oh, those are stairs. Whoops. Alright, but yeah, let's continue building this. Uh, the only issue is, I'm not sure if we actually have, like, a hundred tiles at this point, but... We'll find out soon enough, okay? Actually, right here. We could add another tile right there. Alright, let me see here. Yeah, we're gonna need to build a lot more tiles then. Let's do that. And at some point, I'm probably gonna replace the flooring with something else other than castle walls. Just to make it look a little bit nicer. Actually, wait. Can I make anything right now? That would look a little bit nicer than that. We could make the castle tile. Oh, I'm gonna need marble, though. I just realized I'm completely out of marble. I should probably fix that. Hold on a second. I'm gonna go grab some more marble while we're, like, thinking about this. Oh, there's also marble up here I never got, because it was so high up. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of marble up here. Perfect. But man, one brook castle is going to look so good when we're done with it. And by that I mean it's going to look absolutely nothing like what it looks like in the games. Although to be fair, from what I remember from Dragon Quest 2, Moonbrook Castle is like burned down in like the first five minutes of the game. I don't think we actually get to see what it looks like when it's whole. I think. Like I said, Dragon Quest 2 is the game where like, I think out of all the Dragon Quest games other than 10... Two is probably the one I've played the least of. Because I've played one and... Two, well, one... i played one and three. One I've beaten really easily because it's actually pretty short. Three I've played through on the Game Boy Color. Uh, what is it? Four I played on... The, four through, like, six I played on the DS. Seven I played on the PlayStation 1. I don't think I ever beat that game, but I played quite a bit of it. Eight and nine I beat. Ten, Eleven I beat. Yeah, it's really just ten and two. I played a little bit of 2, but I never beat it, because from what I remember, I think Dragon Quest 2 is like one of the harder games in the series. Alright, anyways, now that I have enough marble, let's go back and keep building. I think after the throne room, we should have enough to upgrade the castle, or to level up the castle area. But yeah, I kind of want to get some... Oop. I need some more. I want to get some castle tile just to like, make the floor look a bit nicer. I don't know, I just don't like the look at the top of the castle walls. Like, I don't know why it's square like that. It's weird. Yep. Eh, it still looks a little bit weird, but we can deal with it. Oh, you know what else we could do? One minute. I'm actually going to do this. Just so that once we put the door down, like here... They can basically just go straight into the throne room. This is like the waiting area of the throne room, okay? Because you gotta if you want to enter the throne room through the back entrance over here... Oh, you know what? Maybe I should have put the... One minute. How wide is this again? One, two, three, four, five. Can I fit that here? One, two, three, four. Oh, that does fit perfectly. You know what? Hold on. 
I'm actually gonna move the main entrance over here. Let me go grab the door real quick. And I'll replace that with, like, walls. We could also just expand this area to be a bit of a wider hallway if we need more tiles in the end. Also, yeah, I don't know why sometimes it turns into, like... I don't know, I feel like stacking castle walls is just kind of weird sometimes. Whatever. Oh wait, no, you know what? I have a better idea of how to do this. I'm gonna move the stairs over here. It's gonna block the wall a bit, but that's fine. Or the door a bit. I can fix that later. As in, I can just, like... Uh, move the door over, like, a tile. It'll be fine. Okay, so, then I'll put the door here. If I could find it. Where's the door? Wait. There it is. I need to clean up my inventory. To make it actually usable. Alright. So, we put that here. Then we put some more stairs over here. I'm gonna need to make some more stairs. One minute. Listen, just because we're, like, in small, tight court or tight, like, quarters, doesn't mean we can't make this look nice. In fact, let's make this look really nice. It's a narrow throne room, but it's a fancy throne room. Yeah, this is gonna be, like, the little waiting, almost, entrance area. And then let's start building back the hallway. Also, I think this wall is gonna be another need to be another tile wide or tile taller. That's fine. Ooh, actually, wait. I don't know. If that's not gonna count, is it? Because it's not. Yeah, it's too low. Okay. Uh. New plan. Hold on. Oop, wrong way. Yeah, that won't count because- yeah, because it wasn't the right, like, height. This one should count, though, right? I might replace those bomb steers later. I'm gonna eat this, because might as well. Hold on. There. Perfect. Let's keep building. Uh, how far do we want to make this two-tile-wide room? I guess one more, because I'm out of blocks. Also, maybe once we get to the corner, we'll build up the rest of the room and just see how big it is. I want to make sure that we still have, we have enough tiles after all this. Hmm. We might still not have enough, though, is the issue. Okay, you know what? Let's, uh... Let's cut it off here for now. I just want to see how big things are now. That's not gonna count, is it? No, and oh, right, I need to build the walls higher. One minute. Yeah, I don't know why sometimes it wants to stack properly and sometimes it doesn't. Whatever, and listen, as long as it's here, it's technically indestructible. And there. Okay, how big is this? Wait. Does this not wait, this should count as a room, right? Oh, did we break something? This should still count as a room. The door's here. Walls are oh wait. Why does this not count as a room? Hold on. Okay, this is a room. How about here? Does this count as a room? This still counts as a room. Maybe we might need to lower the throne room. Yeah, we might need to lower the throne room down one level. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's lower the throne room down a level. It'd 
probably easier to do this than like raise the entire thing up one more level. It's fine. The third room doesn't need to be in level with the bedroom. Unless it like found some limit to how big a room can be in terms of length. I don't think so though. So is this not a room anymore? Hold on. Is there an actual limit to how long a room can be? There shouldn't be. Yeah, this is still considered a room. What the heck? Unless we're, like, missing a hole in the wall somewhere. Is there a hole in the wall? There's a hole in the wall. Huh. Okay, this is still a room. What if we did this? No? Is there actually a limit? Hold on. Let me, uh, maybe try doing this. I'm trying to figure out why this suddenly isn't considered a room. Well, outside of that hole in the Y accidentally made. No? Wait, is there actually a limit? So yeah, this is a room. But if we like go out one more tile. Hmm. No, wait, no, that's a room. Okay, now I'm just confused. There is something about this area that breaks the room formula. Is there, like, a square missing somewhere around here? Hold on. Okay, let me try something then. What if we did, like, this? Is this still a room? Okay, yeah, it looks like there is actually some type of weird range limit to how big a room can be. Because it's fine until we get to, like, here. Yeah, this is fine. This is a room. Apparently, there is, in fact, a limit to how wide a room can be. Okay, that complicates things a bit, but we can deal with this. Let me think. Uh, huh. Well, hold on. What if we do, like, this? I'm gonna clear out this area real quick, just to make sure we're not, like, missing an obvious hole in the wall somewhere. Well, outside of here, obviously. You know what? One minute. What if we, like, expand the hallway? Would that work? No? No. Okay, fine. Uh, we'll have to rethink this then. I was gonna put the throne room back here, but, or the throne itself back here, but we're gonna need to find a different place for it. I guess we can just use this room for now for, like, storage? We'll figure out something to do with that tiny room. Oh, we could turn that into, like, the new potato garden. There's more room back there. Okay. Hmm. That changes things a bit, then. We can still expand this way, though, right? I'm assuming the, like, limit to a room size is, like, dependent on where the door is. Wait. Hold on. If that's the case, what if I, like, do this? Because I suspect it might be based on how far away you are from a door. Maybe? We're just learning today, okay? I need to make this work. So, this is not considered a room anymore. Why not? Is it the door? Wait, why is this not considered- Oh, right, I broke the other wall. But yeah, I want to see something. Is it actually considered a room dependent on where the- How far away it is from a door? Because this is a room. So if I, like, put a door here... Is this still a room? It should, because 
Groom's gonna have multiple entrances. Yep. And then if I open this area up a bit... No? Hmm. Yeah, it looks like we unfortunately can't go this far in terms of our throne room. Oh, that's a loss of, what, nine tiles? Okay. That's a shame, but we'll find some use for that room eventually. I guess we'll keep the door here. Why not? Okay. So I guess we'll just keep expanding this way then. Oh, I'm starving. Oh, are we actually out of food? Uh, he might actually be out of food. Uh-oh. Do I not have any food left? I have meat, don't I? I have meat. Hold on, I'll grow up some meat. We'll have to, like, survive off of meat for now. Yeah, I think I'm going to maybe move the potato farm back there a bit. Alright, so that does change things, though. Where can we put the throne? I guess we can try turning this corner into the throne room area. Oh, you know what else I'm gonna do? My oh, man, I'm gonna make some more uh, castle tile. Just to use this flooring. I guess we could also just expand the room to be wider over here. and ex Like, that should work still. In fact, you know what? I think that is what I'm going to do. Because we lost, like, those tiles in the throne room. We oh, God. Right? I'm hungry. I can't jump because I'm hungry. Here, let me, uh, eat something. But yeah, I didn't think about, like, how little food we, we would be producing. So we're going to need to expand that. Fortunately, we have a whole nine tiles back there we can use now. Okay. So yeah, we're going to expand this to be, like, two tiles wide in that case. What is... Oh, they're training. I don't know why they're training in the bedroom, but whatever. Gotta make use of all the space we have, I guess. You know what? We don't really need to go that... Well, we might as well go that high. Nope, not there. I really wish we could move the bell, by the way. Oh, but I think we have enough points to level up now. But we're not gonna finish. In, we're not gonna do that until I finish the throne room. I t I said I would finish the throne room, and I am going to finish the throne room. I gave my builder's word, and by that I mean I agreed to the mission and I said nothing because we don't say anything in this game. Okay, so that should give us some more floor space once we get rid of these walls here. I guess we won't have a back door in that case. Oh no, we could still have a back door, but it would lead into like that storage area. Which is gonna be like the secondary potato farm. I should probably get that started sooner rather than later, but I'll do that later. Okay. So that should count as a room, right? Yeah, okay. So we are getting close to large room status. So let's start building out this way. I guess we'll have to go a little bit wider than I originally, like, planned, but oh well. Like, I need to also just keep an eye to make sure that we're still considered within the room range. Because I never, I don't know why it doesn't consider that, like, wide area back there part of the room, but whatever. 
So, here's what I'm thinking, then. Let's maybe, like, make a little wide area back here. Where the throne can go. Unless, like, the game just doesn't understand how corners work. Which I would not put past this game sometimes. Like, honestly, the building system in this game can be pretty wonky. Oh, let me also get rid of these stairs. Alright, that's still considered the same room, right? Game? Uh-oh. Okay, seriously, the game does not understand how corners work? No? Oh, no. Huh. Okay, this is still the room. Mm. Okay, we might have found out that there is, in fact, a limit to how wide a room can be. This still counts. It's a large room now. So if we, like, go out a bit further... Okay, so we have found the limit of how wide a room can be. It's this wide. Okay, so so much for our, like, giant labyrinthine room. Mm. It's only large, though. We need to figure out, like... Is there any way for me to get more space? You know... Mm. There is one way. Okay, you know what? Hold on. We're going to need to expand into this area. I was going to use it for something else eventually, but... I guess at this point... Wait. Does that work? Wait, what? Oh, it turned... It linked up these two rooms. Whoop, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, no, we don't want these two to be the same room. Okay, in that case... Let's do this, then. We'll link up these two rooms and turn them into one giant throne room. It pains me to do it because we're just using up so much empty space for nothing but a freaking throne room, but... The game made me do it, so I have to do it. We'll fix up the doors and there's something later. Why is there water down here? Why is there... Where am I? Wait, hold on. Where am I? Why is there water down here? How did I get here? Uh, I think I'm stuck under the floorboards. Why is there water down here? Okay, you know what? Whatever. I'm gonna warp out. Apparently the floor is hollow. Great. Actually, you know what? An underground, like, uh... Oop, break that. An underground potato farm might work. Oh, let me also expand this up a bit. And yeah, I'll fix that door later. Apparently, yeah, the... Okay, so that's what happened. There is literally no floor down here. What the heck? That is really weird. Like I said, though, underground potato farm might not be about it. You know what we could do? No one's using this area down here. This could actually be a pretty good place for a potato farm. Huh. Like a hidden potato farm that's bigger than the actual castle. That could work. It would definitely keep us well fed, too. The only problem is I don't know if the game would consider that, like, usable potato farm area, but we can give it a try later. But we're not going to worry about that right now. What we are going to worry about is actually finishing up this... One minute. I swear, eventually I'm going to do this without falling. Yeah, I didn't realize that's how, like, the underground area of the castle is. Weird. There's no foundation to this castle. Like, one good earthquake and it's probably all gonna come tumbling down. Well, whatever. Not my issue. Or not my problem. Is this still one giant room? What's missing? Oh, right. Walls need to be taller. Wait, what? 
perfect. Okay, so we have our enormous room now. Yeah, we'll have to put the throne, like, right here. I really wish we could put it, like, down one of these corridors. Actually, can we? You know what? No, this should still work. Okay. I'm actually going to expand the room a little bit more over here. This should still be able to work as, like, the throne area. But yeah, unfortunately, unless I can figure something out to give us some more space, we're going to need to use that, like, that entrance area as part of the throne room. I was actually trying to get some different areas over there, but no. Unfortunately, they make us have an enormous throne room. I could destroy it, like... Oop. I could just, like, destroy it later and replace it, but I don't know. I feel like that would be a bit cheap. Like, the game wants us to keep it, we're gonna keep it. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna position it like this. That way we can actually have a door here to another room. You just gotta squeeze by the throne. Perfect. Okay, so the throne is over there. Uh, what do we else do we need? We need banners. And we need braziers, which I don't think I have. I think I need two of them. Okay. Hmm. Unfortunately, I can't expand any further outward because that's the edge of the castle. And I can't expand any further inward because that would, like, start rubbing with the other rooms in the castle that we've built so far. Also, can I go one tile wider, or is this literally the limit? Yeah, that's literally the limit. Okay, then we have some more room back here, too, then, uh, to build another room at. Do you have a door? I do not, but I can put one down later. Okay. Man, that's more than enough room. That's way too much room. Oh, well. Okay, so now that we have that, let's put down the things we need. Is it just a normal... Yeah, yeah it has to be normal braziers for some reason. Uh, we'll put one here and here. And I guess we'll put the banners, like, here. We'll put one more down. Why not? There we go. We have an enormous throne room now. God, Jerobe, why do you need this much space for a throne room? It's 90% empty. Sure, why not? Jerome, don't make me throw you out of the castle. Oh well. But with that, we now have enough to level up the castle. Which we are going to do in a se Wait, hold on. Before we do that, I think Jeremiah wants something. Yeah, it's a little too early, okay? We still need to defeat them. Seriously? I mean... Sure, I'll put some fireworks up there. Should be pretty easy. Oh, by the way, they broke down the gates. Can someone fix that? Oh, wait, I have the gate, don't I? Okay, I'll fix that in a second. Alright, we'll do that later, though. So, I think we'll wrap things up here, then. The throne room didn't work exactly like I planned, because the game does, in fact, have a limit of how wide you can make rooms. But it's fine. I think our current throne room is, like, usable. It's too big, but whatever. But at least we now we have two empty, like, rooms we can make use of later. So with that, we'll wrap things up here. So next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders 2, we're gonna... You know what we're gonna do next time? I'm kind of tired of constantly being on the verge of starvation. I'm gonna see if I can... Oop, good camera. I'm gonna see about maybe turning this area down here into a potato farm. But we'll see. So, till then.